Wait! This ghost I saw. His name is Michael Townley. Sounds like he's living in Los Santos. Find him. Really? Uh... My cousin's there, but I don't... Find him! Wait! Does this mean I don't have to come see the bikers? We're in a hurry, but not that much of a hurry. But if we bury Johnny in the desert and then quiet down that bitch Ashley he was in, then they don't need to find out about it. You think it's clever to disrespect women? Disrespect? What? I, I wasn't disrespecting. I was just saying we should kill her. You called her a bitch. Ain't you got a mother? Everyone got mothers, at least one. We're going up to that farm on the right? That's where they're meant to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you seen Ashley? Johnny's looking for her. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, I just did just 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I saw her on the end of this penis here. Uh, Johnny ain't gonna be cool if you mess him with her again. Oh, really? Well, you don't think so, huh? Well, why don't we just ask him then, huh? Hey, hey, cowboy, you mind that I fucked your old lady? Sorry. What was that? Well, no, 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 you don't mind? Oh, because you're a dead man? And the only sentient party you left is this little bit of brain and the gristle on the end of my boot? Well, thank you very much, cowboy. Bullshit! Oh, I like it, denial. That is first part of the grieving process, brothers. Now let's all hold hands, huh? Oh, well, looks like you got something you want to say, huh? You got something you need to say? This better be bullshit. Oh, where are you guys going, huh? Let's go, ladies. All right. We follow the van back to the rest of them. Then the lost MC are out of this region for good.
without my express permission. No one comes back and that guy got shot, but we lost one! Look out! For all your help there, fellas! Now get back in the truck! Wade? What are you still doing here? You said... I said go find a fucking ghost in Los Santos, all right? You looking for motivation? Oh, uh, yeah, and pick me up some sticky bombs! Ortega lives near here. Let's go see him. It's one thing messing with tweaked out bikers, but the Aztecas? Man! The Aztecas? It's just a name. Is he Illuminati as well? And a wacky? Not one of those lizard people? I got this Chinese contact you can meet at the end. He'll buy all the meth we can cook. There he is. Let's wake him up. What? With the truck? No, come on. Ortega runs the whole county. We don't do anymore. anymore. Soggy friend. 
You are out of business. The lost MC are out of business. The guns and crank in this area go through Trevor Phillips Enterprise, or they ain't going. Saying something don't make it true. Trevor! This is happening. Oh, that feels better! <laughs> I guess he don't run nothing no more. Let's get... unprecedented turn of events. I always said I was gonna take over. <laughs> People say all kinds of stuff when they're three days into a smoking party. You calling me a bullshitter, friend? Clearly not. No way. You're a man of your word, as evidenced by said events. If I say something is going to happen, it's going to. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but as soon as the moment is opportune. Understood. Yes, sir. If I say I'm fucking dead, then fucking dead I am! I'm not gonna raise my balding head on a beach in ten years' time saying, All is well! Is this about the ghost? Michael fucking Downley, yes it is! Who well, you told me about him? Your old running buddy. And who is the other one? Brad. Who's the other one? Locked up in a federal penitentiary. When he finds out Michael survived that job. Yeah. What do you think happened? I knew what happened. I wouldn't be bemoaning these last ten years I've spent in ignorance. Some say ignorance is bliss. For a man with an interest, some may say obsession, with the secret truth kept hidden behind historical events, that's a really weird thing to say. I was trying to console you. I don't need consolation. I need answers from that fat chump. Get out of the car, Ron! I need time to think. Run! Using these things. They're listening. Then make it quick. That business thing's been set up. The Chinese guy, Mr. Chang, is at the end. You said that on the phone? What the fuck is wrong with you, damn it, Ron? Now I'm gonna have to discipline you, and you know how I feel about that. Banned. What about these two? Whoever wins gets banned. <laughs> He's one, ban him. I can't ban him. He's my goddamn husband. He's young enough to be your son. Ain't the internet a beautiful thing, honey? Anyway, I mm. saved your husband. Now get me a drink. I got a meeting. Okay, but any more bodies turn up in my bar. I swear, I will not serve you. Mr. Phillips. Ah, here he is. Yes, Mr. Chang, pleasure to meet oh, you. No, I am Mr. Chang's humble translator. Mr. Chang now. 
You all speak Spanish, speak it to each other! Mr. Tao Chong is pleased to meet your acquaintance. Oh, yeah, he seems it. I'm out. No, don't go. Please, I beg you. If you go, his father kill me. Why do I give a fuck? You don't. But we hear that Trevor Phillips Corporation is serious business. We pay good price. Things work out. We partner. Make big money. <laughs> I'm rushing! Well, let me show you the operation. This is us. Quick enough! The Aztecas are coming! They think you took out Ortega! They ain't mistaken. Well, get down here and take them out, too! I just hope that broke your goddamn neck! You sure your boss don't want this crank for his own personal consumption? No, no. Mr. Cheng Sr. is very specific. He wants a good, reliable source of methamphetamine. We will buy from you here and distribute using established networks. I'm worried that might dilute what our operation's all about. Shit, Trevor, we ain't got long. Whoa, 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 whoa. manner, chef. These are our guests, all right? We got Mr. Chang and his <laughs> humble servant. Hey, Lao uh, Shung. <laughs> nice to meet you. Trevor, we ain't got long till they get here. Everything in its time, all right. Gentlemen, please, come check out the storage facilities. Go on now. Nice, right? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ample room inside. Mr. Cheng, please, sir, if you will. Let me out! No. So fun. Tour will recommence shortly, gentlemen. Should we get the guns? Yes, chef. Help me! If I knew we were having visitors, I would have done a little free clean. Ortega has always been pulling us before. It's a bomb! We've got them on the back foot! Come on! 
and don't come back! Get back inside and clean up the lab! I gotta let our potential business partners out of the ice chest. All right, time to recommence the tour, gentlemen. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! I think we have seen quite enough. Uh, 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 I'll swing by and sign the contracts, all right? Just ignore the bodies. Hey, Trevor, are we still gonna cook that batch? Fuck yeah! Okay. What's going on, Ron? They were here for you. Here for you. Who was here? Them bikers. After you killed Johnny K. And they damage my stuff, huh? They smash up my home, damage my soul. Look at this. This. This, 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 this statue here of impotent rage. This fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone, and they smashed it. Those pathetic midlife crisis, hog-riding, shaven-headed, fruity-leather, chapped-wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped-wearing assholes. Wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45, find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta swing by ammunition. Go to Sandy Shores Airfield, check it out. Come in! Come in! I'll come in your ear when I get a hold of you. I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high power scope. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. 
That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. That's the chestnut. Now I need a scope and a suppressor. coming. That's you all done. Run! Run, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. Hardware's not here yet. I'm coming up. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Here, by the road. You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? Sailor. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way! Clean shot, Trev! There's another guy at the top of the tower! He's probably looking for his buddy! And they all came tumbling down! Get your sights back on me, Trev! I'm scared! You got them sights on me? I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank! I can't! There's someone coming out of that building. I can hear him at that far door. Someone's coming out the far door, man! Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's coming out! Good kill, Trevor! I'm not fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. I think someone's coming. Shit. He's coming over here. He sees me. He sees me, Trevor. A bolt from the blue. Can you hear that? Chopper, incoming. 
I've always hated that chopper. Just fuck it. <laughs> Ship 
experiment successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. soft projections for the coming quarter. They're getting everything that's coming to them. A vast criminal conspiracy like the Lost MC shouldn't let a goon like Johnny K represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. A few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney. Man was weak for Crystal, weak for Ashley, man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Stay low over those wetlands, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico, yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Ron. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. Oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.
You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la! Quite in! Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn axe. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Why, sir? Yeah, we will bang me. Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and a weapons trader. All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. <laughs> the O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem, since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other. Fuck you guys and fuck them! I just spoke to that maniac Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Right. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh. How many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how...
many brothers you got, you inbred freaks. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll kill the lot of you, and I'll torch your cookhouse. him out of the lab! Fuck you! He died! He can't come down here! Stop him! Oh shit! He's down here! Well, look at this! Smell that! Come on, come on! Nothing but a smoldering fucking rack. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Burn, you disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up asked... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, <laughs> so, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon, I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? I thought we were going somewhere. Have you changed your mind? Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important. Trevor! Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seeing him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the Lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn, maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there, I mean, what do you want to... Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again.
not knock the knife tie. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house I must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, Key. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker. Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be away. Are we nearly there yet? No, way. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me, hey, tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. What? Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story. Oh! If you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr... Tr... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. God, weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy. He had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or a hockey player. He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. Right there, Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. Oh! Get you get! Get you get! So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. You I always kid. wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. This is where dead men come back to life. Hmm? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! around here, what are you doing? Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Floyd over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah, where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a, had a stick accident like, like I had one. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going and it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible! It was! Sent him to a deep pit of doubt. Despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. 
That's cool. What was your troll's name? My gracious, Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes. He'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Ah! Ah! Shit. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits, so she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work, but you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls, and the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on I find maps. I'll give you directions. You don't turn here. Now keep going. It's a rag up here. Have some real fun. Just straight over this one. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you wait! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Oh, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go too. <laughs> 